My family and I are losing hope. Every day the news from Syria gets worse. And the situation here is getting ever more tense. We have nothing good to hold on to. And I have no one to help me with my eye condition. A year ago, we applied for asylum to Canada, but we'd heard nothing since. Then, I got a phone call. It was the Canadian Embassy. Well, I'm very glad to hear that. It's a, it's a big honor for me. They asked us to travel to Beirut. I can't remember the last time we left the camp together as a family. Welcome to the Canadian Embassy. My name is Ian McGrath. Uh, so uh, you've, you guys have come a long way. Today you have passed the interview. You have had your case referred to us by the UNHCR. You guys are going to be going to Regina in Saskatchewan. <laughs> Regina, good question. Regina is the capital of the province of Saskatchewan, which is located in the middle of Canada. The weather. Beautiful summers. Uh, when you arrive, it'll be springtime, so you'll see uh, flowers and animals. Good for photography. Beautiful for photography. You can see for miles. Oh. Yeah, all uh, universities in Canada are uh, generally public institutions, so you're, you're welcome to study. Yeah, and there's a small uh, Middle Eastern community there. So all the, all the comfort's of home are available. <laughs> well, I, I just did everything. He didn't mention what the winters would be like. With one phone call, everything changed. It was my eye condition that helped us get asylum. It was our last few days in Lebanon, but we were already thinking about life in Canada. We wanted to learn as much as we could. Okay, <laughs> Now my family and I can start to look to the future. And maybe in Canada, they will cure my eyes.